Hey guys, naturally, with new banners, should you summon time, and this is actually a great sequel to the video I just posted by the time of this recording. I'll release it in the morning, but by the time of this recording, I just did the banner leak video, so now I can do a bit more of an educated, you know, informative thing over these banners. And this is a much more bare bones week than we have had before. Though it's still not that bad you know there's still some people who will want to be pulling so i will answer that in a second i figure why not just immediately jump into it same thing as always for this 2x stuff i mean next week we're getting a 2x by 15x with lucius razak and zaris so personally i would say do not pull on this even if you're newer then again it is completely up to you 2x's are only for if you're going for quant quantity over quality and that brings us to the other manner which is Constance and Alora. We've had this banner twice before. This is the third time we've had it. I think this might actually be the most rerun banner ever, which is kind of crazy. But I mean, uh, it it doesn't really matter, right? We got Constance and Alora, who are both legendaries. Constance is very good. Alora is probably one of my most hated units in the game, and then we have some basic ass epics that I'm not going to cover because you shouldn't really need them unless you're going for like Micah Fusion for Dallin and if you don't have eyes she's all right but you know whatever there now let's start with Alora my most <laughs> my second most hated hero after Apsin Alora is not terrible if you do not have hats it her main use is for gear aid three on the right side you use her she kills the right and it works fine but she needs to be fully skilled. She needs to have decent gear, which can be hard at that stage, especially for someone who's only has one purpose, because obviously you want to give uh, your main DPS better gear. And then, you know, she, she just proceeds to not do enough damage because she hits like a noodle. And that's why I don't like her. She has permanent invisibility, except when she's in her alt, where she then loses her invisibility. She split attacks does some damage and it's just a little bit mediocre so personally i think alora is not very good but if you need her for the application if you're really struggling and that's the one thing that's stopping you from winning then alora is not a bad hero to pull for but apart from that i would recommend you don't go for her especially for awakenings she is garbage her awakenings suck ass because you only need her base so base copy to do the only application she's in and everyone who's going to try to defend Al Alora, don't try you're not going to convince me anything related to that she's not good i would rather use epics <laughs> like for most content in the game but that brings us to constance now constance is incredibly important you know we have some banners coming and they're all pretty interesting i would say constance is the most essential unit even including those that are going to be coming fairly soon because constance is borderline not really essential but she's like she's really important for good boss 2 good boss 2 being the main thing to work towards obviously as you can see if you go through these constance is the most used damage increase character I mean, Pharisee technically counts, but it's really just about Constance. And Constance is very, very strong. She has very good inspiration, and she's part of two of the best factions for Gilboss 2. Watcher and Arbiter. She's a Ground Dolores, which is amazing. She can be used in a lot of areas, especially Codex. For stuff like, if you can figure out how to use her in Boris Codex, I think she can be used. You could use her in Sticks, where I think she's actually, like, super, super good. And you could use her in other areas as well. So she's very, very good for that. She heals a little bit. For Gilvy Guild, she's really good. Here, let me show you guys my, my current opponents. Awaken Chaos. We're kind of losing, but you got to get some attacks off. Anyways, you could just kind of go through. And for example, here's a team we beat. Constance here. There's like eight teams like this on, on there. And they're just all using Constance. You can find applications there. Constance is very good. So if you do not have her, and you have a lot of other really solid heroes, I would say she is worth going for. 
She's very, 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 very good. Actually, <laughs> she's really good. I love Constance. She is amazing. And I do recommend to pull on this banner just for her. If you think that you have enough for Kagiri in case we get jump scared by him in the next month or so, we do not have a date for him, but you know how that is. Or if you don't want any of the upcoming banners, which I'm not going to cover in this video. You could check out my last video if you would like. And it's, it's just purely up to you. But Constance is the main draw here. Now, of course there's no there's no summoning event so you do not actually need to pull at all for anything like that so really it's just if you want constants go for constants but you have to be confident you have enough for the things you want in the future i'm gonna cut it pretty short just because i don't think there's anything else to cover you know how it is pretty short should you summon tell me if you guys are pulling if you're not it will be interesting to know I'm not pulling this week at all. I'm saving for Twyla, I think. That's it for me. Destin signing out. <laughs>